I'm Kate Livy, the Director of Education and the Associate Curator here at the Chesapeake Bay Maritime Museum. So what is a bye boat, you might ask yourself? That's one of those names like Skipjack and Bug Eye that a lot of people are not familiar with when it comes to Chesapeake boats. Well, the name implies that they're buying something, and they were. Bye boats were really constructed to be middlemen in the Chesapeake. They essentially would go out to meet Skipjacks, to meet Bug Eyes, to meet Tongers and log canoes that were harvesting oysters in the wintertime to, to buy the oysters off of them and take those oysters to market. Buy boats were also used used in the summertime to transport all kinds of stuff. So think about what tractor trailers do today and the types of cargo they carry. That is exactly what buy boats would have done in the 19th and the early 20th century before there was a really good road and transportation system in the Chesapeake. So buy boats would take fruit, they take tomatoes, watermelon in the summertime, fish, um, and just transport them back and forth across the bay and then up and down the river. So buy boats were really workhorses of the Chesapeake and from the late 19th through the early 20th century, they were really common sites along Chesapeake waterways. The Winnie Estelle is a great example of a buy boat. Um, she was built in the 1920s by Noah T. Evans, who named her after his two daughters, Winnie and Estelle. For most of her life, that's what Winnie Estelle did. She was really like any other buy boat in the Chesapeake. However, in the 1970s, when a lot of buy boats were no longer being used in the Chesapeake for oystering, just because now there were trucks, um, and a lot of the oyster population was really starting to get hit hard by disease, that's when Winnie Estelle was taken down to the Caribbean. And she was used to haul lumber down uh, in the Caribbean in Central America. All wooden boats have a lifespan and Winnie Estelle had really met the end of hers. Um, she was left and abandoned down in Belize and there was a, a man, Roberto Smith, who noticed her sort of foundering on a reef she'd just been abandoned. Um, and he decided to take her on as a project. He thought he could fix her up and use her as a charter boat. Well, it took several years to restore her and he used Belizean pine, um, Belizean um, cabbage rose wood to essentially create this new skeleton inside the Winnie Estelle that was made out of Central American wood. At the end of her career as a charter boat in Belize, she was purchased by a, a Chesapeake resident who brought her back up to the Chesapeake. So she arrived back in the Chesapeake in 2012. Um, the museum acquired her in 2014 and we've had her ever since. She is a wonderful addition to our collection and she is a vessel that visitors can actually come in and um, take out on drop-in cruises. We do education programs on her. So really, Winnie is enjoying her fifth life here at the Chesapeake Bay Maritime Museum. Over 30 of these beautiful bay workhorses are gonna be here at the Maritime Museum all together, which is a wonderful opportunity for anyone who cares about Chesapeake culture and wants to see some of the bay's most amazing boats gathered together all in one place. Come on out Sunday, August 14th from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. for our annual Waterman's Day celebration and the 12th annual Bye Boat Reunion here at the Chesapeake Bay Maritime Museum.